Hello, it's Patrick here from the garagebandguide.com. In this tutorial, I'm giving you a crash course on loops in GarageBand 10. One of GarageBand's most attractive features when it landed way back in 2004 was the inclusion of hundreds of pre-recorded audio snippets that users could insert into their projects called loops. Fast forward to present day and the thousands of loops that are available in GarageBand are still one of its killer features. The way that you use the loops that are included with GarageBand have been refined over time to the point that it's really very simple to find and use them in your own projects. So GarageBand has a built-in loop browser that lets you search for loops using a large selection of criteria like genres and instrument types. To open the loop browser, click on the loop icon in the top right corner of GarageBand's screen. You have a couple of options here. Clicking on the drop down menu marked loops here will allow you to refine the loops available by genre type. So if I go ahead and select Chillwave from the list, all of the loops available in the list at the bottom of the browser will be of the Chillwave variety. This works exactly the same for all the genres available here. And if you decide to add more loops to GarageBand down the line, either paid loops or otherwise, they may show up as a separate selection in this list too. Your other option is to search by instrument, genre or moods. Now using this filter will change the selection of loops in the list at the bottom based on what you have chosen. So if I select synths from the instrument selection there, uh, house from the genre selection there, and single from the moods selection there, that will give me a narrowed down list of loops to choose from. If we take a closer look at the loop list at the bottom here, there are three loop types to choose from. Green loops, blue loops, and brand new in the latest update of GarageBand version 10.2, yellow loops. Green loops are MIDI loops and were created and can be edited in GarageBand's software instrument track. A quick tip here, if I load this green loop into a software instrument track and then change the instrument, the melody will stay the same, but the instrument playing it will change. Now this is really handy if you like the melody of a particular green loop, but don't really like the instrument that's playing it. You can swap out that instrument really easily. Blue loops are previously recorded snippets of audio and as such can't be edited. They do usually sound a lot better quality wise than green loops though. And finally yellow loops which are a new type of Apple loop powered by GarageBand's drummer track that can be customised to play along with your song. To add a loop to your project, you can simply click and drag it into the workspace. This will create a new software instrument track if you're adding a green loop, a new audio track if you're adding a blue loop, or a new drummer track if you're adding a yellow loop. Notice that some loops have a key signature next to them, also a tempo value and the amount of beats that they last for. Now you can refine your loops further here by clicking the top of any of these columns and that will order the loops in the browser at the bottom there by either key, tempo or beat. Now this is really handy if you want to look for a specific loop in a specific key or you know if you're working to a 
particular tempo that you want your loop to be in. If you want to increase the length of your loop or to have it repeat, you can hover the cursor over the top right corner of your loop region. You'll see the cursor change to this loop icon. Click and drag the region to the size that you want. Alternatively, you can copy and paste your loop. Click on the loop to highlight it. Use the keyboard shortcut Command and C to copy it. Then move the playhead to where you want your copied region to go and hit the keyboard shortcut Command and V to paste. You can then paste as many times as you need to. You can also use one of the new additions in GarageBand 10.2, which is the ability to loop your loop for the full length of your project. Simply select the region you want to loop and tap the L key. This will loop the region, as mentioned, to the full length of your project. One last thing for this tutorial, all of the loops that come with GarageBand are completely royalty free, meaning you can use them in commercial projects or your own music freely without worrying about getting into any hot water copyright wise. So there you have it. That's an intro to using loops in GarageBand 10. If you found this video useful, then please hit the like button. I really do appreciate it. And it lets me know that you want to see more videos just like this one. If you haven't subscribed, then now's a great time to do so. We've got lots of great new GarageBand videos coming your way every single week. And don't forget to click the bell icon as well, just to make sure that you don't miss out on a thing. I've been Patrick from thegaragebandguide.com and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.